Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Les Stroud Survival Camillus Knife. This came out in June 2012. This was also the fourth season of Survivor Man as well. I've had this knife for almost 12 years now. And today we're going to put it to the test. Okay, so we have the knife here. And we have the, uh, I guess, Survival Manual. What's it called? Here's the manual. It's got a belt sheath. And uh, I lost the mirror. There used to be a mirror here. And you can open up. It has tinder. Put your little tinder bundle. Here's some cordage. Not uh, 550, but it is cordage. The original cordage that it came with. Velcro and friction sheath. Here's the knife. And it comes with a whistle and little battery, which is cool. Let's test out the whistle. Not the best, but it works. And our little flint here. Flint striker. And it comes with a sharpener. So I can't obviously test the uh, mirror because I don't know where it is. I'm not gonna test the string because you could change this out. This is the original string. And uh, I mean, it's not really worth showing you because it probably only holds up to like 50 pounds. Um, the flashlight works. Not It's not the brightest. I'm not gonna show that either because the batteries in here are melted fused together uh the whistle i already showed that um the flint striker we'll get to that later uh overall i mean it is what it is the sharpener it's just a basic v sharpener okay let's see how well it batons Good actually. Nice. Good job. Okay, let's check the tip strength and the endurance of the steel. What do you all right, back up. Uh, not good. We got some warpage there. Let's see if we can bend it back. Oh no! It broke! I've had this knife for so long. Oh, that's lost in there too. Damn, not that good. It warped and just snapped. It's a full tang too, so, but this whole thing is just, I can feel it even in the handle, it's just bent. Oh, that's awful. It's good batoning, but yeah, just not, not that good, damn. Camillus went downhill. They really went downhill. They, uh, a lot of their products are all China made now, so. Oh well, let's uh, go on to the next test. Okay, we're gonna be doing some feathering now. Okay, well, it feathers, but 
Something about the textured handle, it just hurts. Even with gloves on, it's just hurting my, my hand. I mean, it's a good fit, but it's just like, it's, it's hard, man. It's just hard. Let's try out the pommel. Okay, so we have a piece of rock, a piece of slate rock here, and we are gonna see how it does. I don't have any eye protection, so hopefully, Not bad. Did pretty good. It's got like a meat hammer texture overall. Uh, did pretty good. Okay, so uh, we have some tinder actually stuck in here, so we're gonna use that and try out the flint and steel. Okay, so there is a little notch in the back here for the striker. The only thing is, uh, it does work actually. Doesn't work that well. I'd rather have that <laughs> than that. But it's also so tiny that uh, I just keep slipping. So, but let's try it. Uh, let's try the back first. Okay, that didn't really work. Let's try the blade part. There you go. Overall, I mean, it's a good knife. I mean, when it came out, it was good. I used it a lot when I went camping. I mean, I got this when I was like 13. Uh, Les Stroud doesn't consult with Camillus anymore. Uh, they kind of sold out, like I said before. They kind of got cheap. But I mean, this came out when uh, the Bear Grylls knife was coming out. I mean, overall, it did its thing. I mean, I used it. Uh, it's just it's just super old it's been sitting in my car as a, a, a emergency knife um kind of bummed out that <laughs> the tip broke but that just shows you that camillus is is the steel isn't up to par anymore all right there you go there is the less stroud camillus knife i mean i don't remember what the price of it when i got it i mean i'll put it probably here i mean is it worth it i think when i bought it yeah is it really a survival knife not really. I mean, it's more of a gimmick, but I was a big fan. I'm still a big fan of Les Stroud. You know, shout out Les Stroud. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just kind of bummed out that the tip broke. But, you know, what can you do? It's a cheap knife. You know, Camellus kind of really, you know, did him dirty, did the company dirty. But, uh, I mean, overall, I give like a 6 out of 10. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like more knife videos, please subscribe. Okay, so I got the tip back. I actually had to cut the piece of wood that was stuck in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it bends, but, I mean, it's a good knife, in my opinion. But just didn't really hold up to test the time. Shout out to Les Stroud. He actually has a YouTube channel now where he posts all his videos and uh, movies and episodes and everything. Uh, so I'll put that link somewhere in the bottom. Uh, he said if he gets up to 1 million subscribers, he'll do another episode. So that's pretty cool. So, but uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the review. Catch you guys in the next video.